Okay, I wanted to make a quick video for installing the Bosch 9900i tankless hot water heater. I did it myself. Uh, long story why that happened, but uh, you know, that's how it went this time. I would recommend hiring a plumber if you don't feel like spending a lot of time. This took me like a, a, a week by the time I got done with it. I replaced a tank water heater, which used to sit on this pedestal. So anyway, I ordered this from Home Depot, which was a nightmare. The first one came, the box was so damaged, I sent it back. The second one came, missing parts. They gave me a 25% discount at the end, which made me kind of happy. So anyway, uh, the most important thing, you know, is the gas, because that could get pretty dangerous. This, uh, I was lucky I had a three quarter inch line coming right in. So I just had to have three quarter inch gas line all the way to here. You gotta have this little sediment trap and then that hooks up right there. And you just have to use uh, Teflon tape. So this is black iron pipe, gas valve, you know, gas line, black iron pipe, Teflon tape for gas. It's a specific tape. And then, you know, you gotta hook that up. So then, for the hot water, I have a top, uh, you know, the water's on top, so I didn't need the valve kit. So, uh, I'll climb up here. Um, I just hooked up uh, a valve, just kind of for convenience on the top of each line, and then just ran the stainless steel lines to the existing. Copper was already threaded. Same thing on this side, so I just insulated it now. You have to have this blow off valve on the hot water side. So I used a uh, Pex and Shark, Shark Bite, I think it's called. You know, I just bought the stuff and ran Pex and ran it down. And then this comes out. I had it, uh, a, another one from the other hot water heater. I just repurposed it and ran the line that way. Uh, I had to mount the thing um, because my stud wasn't really lining up too well with where I wanted to put it. So I put some two by sixes in the line. It screws in, you know, down here, make sure you use some good uh, anchors. Let's see what else. Uh, oh yeah, the, the ventilation is a very important part of this. You got to use like Schedule 40 PVC and you know prime it and glue it and all that. Boom. And then luckily for me, I could just put it right out the side of the garage right there. And since it is in my garage, the intake side, I just have kind of suck an air in right there. No big deal. The only thing I'm waiting on is. Um, the screens so that uh, bugs don't get in there. At least large bugs won't get in if I put the screens up. So yeah, you got cold water in, hot water out. I have a uh, thermostatic mixing valve up there, you can see. I just put a brand new one in while I was at it doing all this other stuff. Uh, and then this is the condensation line. On this model, it actually screws in I know some other models, you're supposed to leave it just floating there, but this one has it set up so you can just do that. And then it just plugs into the wall. The uh, cable to plug in the wall is about five feet, I imagine. Um, but yeah, I had to buy, you know, for the gas line, I had to buy this valve, this hose, this black iron pipe, okay? And the Teflon tape. And then for the water lines, I first tried to reuse my stainless steel lines and buy new gaskets, but um, they leaked. So I just said, screw it. I just bought new lines. Uh, I bought the valves. I had to buy this because it wasn't in the kit, although it should have been. Then I had to buy all the shark bites, all the pecs to get that out. I had to buy PVC for the condensation line out the side of the house. And I had to buy the Schedule 40 for the ventilation for the intake and for the exhaust. And then I just, made that plate kind of custom. They didn't really have anything good for it. And that's the whole setup. 